So about a year ago, I did a video reacting to Mike Tyson's boxing for the first time ever, and I was very, very impressed. Today, we're gonna be checking out some of his most wildest, most savage, and intimidating moments. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. I would love to spend more time with you. You are an incredible guy. Thank you so much. Well, what the hell did you put me on the I show you, for? But I put you on the show to get you on to talk about your, your series. We talked for a long time, actually. I know, but we talked for a long time off the camera. I, <laughs> Damn, putting him on the spot? Mike Tyson Mysteries airs Every Monday Don night Lemon at 10 30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, at least he was a good sport about it. I only trained probably two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend, and I dedicated this fight. I wasn't going to fight. I dedicated this fight to him. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. I like that. Alexander, he's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's the never fight. been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Lynx. the guy in the back. There's no one like me. I'm from their cloth. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. Impregnable? Ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Are you saying now, Mike, that Mike? Damn, but why you gotta wanna eat his children, though? And then I got caught up with this other piece of shit, Don King, who's a wretched, this is just a wretched, slimy, reptilian motherfucker. <gasps> Damn, he'll roast your whole life, too. Y'all guys know what I do. Y'all know what I do. I put people in body bags when I'm right. So we know what's gonna happen. And just a little bit more to further prove my point that you cannot get more intimidating than that. Like Mike Tyson is the real life Dexter. Uh, Francois Botha, six to one underdog. Are there any concerns on your part? I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I just know what I can do. How about kill the this mother? <laughs> How about the 19 months? The news reporter's face. Does what that, about it? Does what it about it? Does it pose any problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. You take <laughs> He's so uncomfortable. Rage. Does that work for you or does it work against you at times? You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, the, what, what does it matter? He has a good point. Well, rage against uh, Vander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f it. It's a fight. So whatever happens, <laughs> happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? <laughs> well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I He's think savage. we're in a discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. You got it. Go off. Because you know why? Because after, cause after I, I kick Stuart ass and give him a slow beating, nearly death, I'm going to take whoever the win after that, the Holyfield-Douglas fight. It's making more and more sense why when I asked in the last video if you guys would fight Mike Tyson for 20k, everybody was just like, girl, is you crazy? Literally. I may like Fonny King more than other people. It's just who I am. I sacrificed so much of my life. Can I at least get laid? I've been robbed of most of my money. Can I at least get a blowjob? I wish one of your guys had chewed. He did not. Kick them in their fucking head or stomp on their testicles for you could feel my pain because that's the pain I have waking up every day. Can nobody put a fear in my heart? No human being. And that's just who I am. I'm no badass and I can't beat the whole world, but no one's gonna walk over me. I like that. Whatever you think of him, you gotta respect that part. Put your mother in a straight jacket, you punk ass white boy. Come here and tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. You're you can't touch me, you're not man enough. I eat your asshole alive, you bitch. <laughs> fuck you, you hoe. Come and say in my face, fuck you, you ass for everybody. You bitch, come on, you bitch. You're scared coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me. I want to know what you guys think is Mike Tyson's most savage moment, so drop it down in the comments below. Are you talking out of turn? No, I think we're all talking together. I normally don't do interview with women unless I fornicate with them. So you shouldn't talk anymore. Unless you oh wanna. my gosh! I can't help but say that that was low-key smooth, but also borderline harassment. <laughs> I dare you talk to me like that. You should you should get up and kneel to me now and I'll spare you the night of the 28th. <laughs> I don't have to say, you come in and you come ready. You understand? Because I'm going to come uh, ready. You understand? Okay. Okay, you know that. I don't know you why you ready. talk to me like that when you know I'll kill you for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about you, Mike. You talk tough. And he's like, this ain't talk, brother. You reptilian looking motherfucker. I've been working with Kevin for two and a half years. 
I've never seen him prepare himself like I'm he has. I'm gonna him like a fish. <laughs> Sit down. In my mind right now, I'm thinking this man has the world's best insults. I'm gonna talk nice to you and talk about fornicating with you and letting you suck my dick because if I was eloquent with you, you would still look at me as a scumbag. Like, the things that he say are so out of pocket, but the way he puts it out there is like, you cannot get mad at him. Like, there was low-key truth to that. Eyes and lows. So interesting, because you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. No, that was a piece of, fuck you. That was a piece of shit. You know, we're, on, we're doing we're doing live TV. Hey, I don't care. What are you going to do about it? All right, you got a, you got a show that you're doing tonight. We are. You know, Trying to change the conversation. Yeah. It's raw, and it's the real truth. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be there to see your show. Just tell us a bit about it. Is it nerve-wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more ner nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. Um, it's more nerve-wracking for me to hear talking to a rat piece of shit like that. <laughs> because you're a piece of shit. All right. Really we're, gonna, we're, we're, piece we're, of shit. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap up this interview. Thank we're you practicing. for thank you for coming. <laughs> Fuck you. R.I.P. On a scale of 1 to 10, how uncomfortable do you think that man was? I'm many things, you know, I'm many things. Yeah, I'm a convicted rapist. I'm, 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 a, I'm a hell raiser. I'm a father, a loving father. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a semi good husband, you know what I mean? <laughs> semi, yeah, that. What? You know, I'm just a man out here trying to enjoy my, I, I was born poor. I ain't never had nothing, man. I don't know how to act, all right? But the real thing is, I'm just, I'm just here to be me. So I don't care what uh, you, think you know what I am or who, or who anyone thinks I am um, at this stage of my life. But um, yeah, I'm a pretty much of a tyrant titan. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, these you know you're a real too. prick, though, right? What? What's the matter? You're a real prick. <laughs> you've hit me with all these disgusting pictures. Oh no, but uh, if you don't want to comment, I don't. No, I, mean, I will I'm comment, just trying... but you're a prick. No, no what? No, I did. I'm just trying to. We're, we're trying to. If you don't want to comment on it, you don't no, have I to. I will comment on, comment on them, but you're a prick. I'm just letting you know. Continue. Uh, Mike Tyson is ruthless with these interviewer people. Like, I feel like sometimes he'd be roasting them harder than the people that he's fighting against. That's it for this video, Ginkgo. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to smash the like button. It really helps out my channel a lot. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.